Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Assistant Professor Abhijit Pawar from the Department of Mathematics, Security College. So whenever we heard the word mathematics, that time we have a fear. From childhood, we are learning mathematics, but I don't know why everyone has a fear of mathematics. But what is mathematics? Mathematics is nothing but a logic which leads for many competitive exams. So whenever learn the mathematics, try to find out what is the logic or what is the application of mathematics and then only you are able to learn the mathematics. So without wasting uh, more time, let's go to a very simple topic but one of the most industrial application of that topic. Let's move further for matrices. So what is the definition of matrices? An arrangement of m n numbers written in the m rows and n columns and enclosed in a rectangle brackets is called a matrix. In general, the matrix is known as or the order is known as m by n. But matrix is enclosed in the square brackets. So that are the notations which we are plus. So I just uh, highlight the notation what the notation we are. So this is the notation in general we are using. But in many of the books or some of the computer applications we are using these symbols. That is the basic meaning of matrices. The matrices contains what? The numbers which are from matrix is called the element of the matrix. And the elements are generally represented by a rows and our rows are horizontal and the columns are vertical. So in general that things you already know. But for more detail we need to know the things. This is the general structure of matrices where A11. Now the meaning is what is A and what is 1 1 or somewhere we are writing 2 1. So where A 1 1 where this one is represented as row and this one is represented for column. So this two suffix are represent first one is the respect to row and second one is respect to column and in general A is known as the element. A is known as the what? element. So in general how can we represent a matrix? So A is equal to here the abbreviation form is A is equal to Aij where I and J are the rows and columns of numbers. Let's moving further examples of matrices. So let me tell you this is row 1 this is row 2. So how many are and what about the columns? This is column 1 and this is column 2. So total we have 2 cross 2 or in general it is known as 2 by 2. So elements can be anything, it can be 0, it can be non-zero, it can be negative, it can be trigonometric functions and many more. Sometimes we are using variables also as the element of matrices. Moving further, what are the applications of matrices? Sometimes uh, we always need to think about application. What are the applications? So solving the system of linear equation is the most important application of matrices. Computer graphics and image processing. Nowadays we are all are digital. You are, we, we are also meeting on the digital platform. So in that digital platform we require image processing and computer graphics. Most commonly tool in the electric engineering and the computer science rectangle grid of numbers is known as matrices. So the rectangle grid is known as the matrices and it is also used to represent the real life data. So some of the real life data so we can construct uh, the matrices I am showing over here. So sometimes here we write down our variable x and y and here suppose we are writing down food or here some we write down the miscellaneous whatever we are using. So we are writing 3, 2, 1, 5 that means x is spending 3 for food and so on. So that is the real life application of the matrices. Let's moving further for exact which type of applications are usable. So we are need to know some of the little types or some of the types of matrices. So first one we have a row matrix. The matrix which contain only one row it is known as the row matrix. The second one is the column matrix. The matrix with one column it is known as the column matrix. Then we have a square matrix, a very important or uh, the mes, uh, main part of the matrices is when the number of rows is equal to number of columns then it is known as the square matrix. Then what about zero matrix? A matrix having all elements are zero, they are the zero matrix. Moving further, we have the diagonal matrix, a matrix in which every non-diagonal element is equal to zero it's called a diagonal matrix means you can say in the example let me highlight the part this is the diagonal okay so diagonal elements can be 
negative can be positive it might be possible it can be zero also but i have a question if it is zero please comment uh, the if it is zero then you i need your comment in the uh, video so you need to give the clarification can zero be the uh, diagonal elements is a very genuine question so these are the basically diagonal matrix means non zero elements non diagonal elements must be zero moving further for a scalar matrix another type of matrix where it is a type of diagonal matrix only but the all zero on diagonal elements are equal equal means like this see the example where the first example contain in diagonal 8 8 and where other is containing minus 2 minus 2 where they are a diagonal elements but all the diagonal elements must be equal so it might be possible we have the example like c is equal to we have 1 0 0 we have a 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 so it is also a type of scalar matrix where all diagonal elements must be equal there are several type of diagonal matrix and there are several type of matrix which are really uh, useful in the real life but you need to still continue with us in next video for this video we are really thank you here we will meet as soon as possible thank you